Welcome to online info session on advanced diploma in IT system analysis and design. My name is Dr. Seppi Chakova, and I'm here together with my colleague, Claire Kelly, who is one of the admin team, to be able to introduce you to the course. This session is to um, inf introduce you about the course uh, details, as well as benefits of how you would study at Oxford and the process of how to apply. As I said, my name is Dr. Seppi Chakova. I'm a departmental lecturer in data science and the course director of undergraduate advanced diploma in IT system analysis. To give you more details about the course, this is a totally online course and it's part time and it runs over one academic year. The uh, level of teaching of this course is equivalent to the third year of undergraduate uh, degree course and there are no formal uh, entry uh, requirement for this. Studying at its end would uh, upgrade your skills in the uh, area of the uh, design and analysis of a software system. It's about how you would create and understand uh, processes and the stakeholders as well as the component if you are working on designing an IT system or try to amend an IT system. This is, of course, a very important skill to have at this time because every system that we are interacting with is one way or another is digitally based. And irrespective of what sort of work and profession you have got, it is absolutely important that if you are trying to interact with a system that you design, uh, it would be able to meet the standards and the requirement that is necessary to make a system function properly. Based on that, the, this course is look at the um, software system from the data requirements, from the function performance and usability. Once you are um, accepted to the course, uh, you would be uh, put into a dedicated tutorial group with a dedicated tutor. The course is totally online and it runs on a virtual class uh, classroom, which we have been using called Moodle. The course is primarily self-study, although we have got tutors for the course, but they are mostly to um, guide you in the right direction. The, the content of the course, it's web-based material and together with group exercises as well as the unit uh, assignments. There are five units within ADITSAT. This is about studying the system development and life cycle management of a uh, uh, system about the analysis of a system design. This is looking at the data driven and um, uh, procedural techniques which are required to create a system. Uh, unit three is about data organization and unit four is about objects and architectures of these uh, systems. Unit five is a team project. There are six ass um, uh, summative ass assessments within uh, the added SAT and you need to pass all this assess um, assessment in order to pass the course. So the assessment uh, is through passing each assignment and through the uh, uh, team projects. There are no formal written examinations. If you are thinking if this is the right course for me, it's really it's about uh, understanding of if, if you want to make a career progression with IT or if you want to move from IT role to another field or if you want to already be working in the field of IT systems, but you don't have the um, uh, sort of formal qualification, and that would also give you the opportunity to um, uh, acquire a University of Oxford uh, the award bearing the certificate. Who should apply for this course? If you do not have any formal academic qualification, and uh, you want to receive a qualification from the University of Oxford, this is an opportunity for you to apply. But of course, in order to be uh, admitted to this course, you have to have some reasonable experience with software development with IT systems. 
and you need to put a lot of requirement um, um, commitment to the course and uh, in order to achieve the uh, the uh, learning outcomes and pass the uh, uh, course assignments once you um, join the added such uh, course you would be able you would be given a university card and you would be exactly like any other undergraduate student at university of oxford which allows you to uh, access things like the Bodleian uh, libraries, which, which is accessible in person or online. There would be an award ceremony at uh, iconic Sheldonian Theatre once you hopefully and uh, graduate from the course in March uh, of the uh, following year. In order to apply for um, added SAT, you need to have a written statement of three to hundred words. You need to um, put down the details of any computing or software system, engineering, or even IT uh, management system that you might have. The proof of English language, and for non-native English speakers, uh, we, we require that. And you have to provide two contact uh, to, to contact two of your referees to provide. We prefer professional or academic referees uh, for your application. So, so some students have um, asked, uh, provided us with uh, some questions, which um, Clara and I would uh, try to answer. And of course, if you have got any more questions, please feel free to contact undergraduate at content.ox.ac.uk. So, one of the questions uh, which a lot of people ask is, do you, do you recommend any prior reading? Actually, we don't necessarily recommend any prior reading. The self, uh, the course content is self-contained, uh, but is a lot of content. So it means that it's been structured in such a way that assume very little or no background in the field. And then as you progress through the uh, course units, then um, you would learn more and more about the subject area. So we do not uh, uh, recommend or, but I mean, if it's, uh, if you are interested into doing some studies outside the, uh, the content of added SAT, that would be your um, own decision. Uh, many students ask when they need to pay their fees. You will be notified of this with your offer, but generally speaking, it's either the full amount due on the 1st of September or three equal instalments due the 1st of September, the 15th of January and the 1st of April. We can't usually extend instalments beyond the 1st of April, but we could institute smaller, more frequent instalments. And at that point, we just ask that you contact us and we start a discussion. Is the test for of English for international communication accepted as proof of English language ability. It is not included on the university's list of accepted certification. If you go to our web page, you can find a link through that will take you to the various accepted certifications and indeed details of how to apply for a waiver on English language certification. The question is here, will there be any classes that require us to join during the work hours? No, it will not be. The course content is totally asynchronous. It means that it has been designed in such a way that you can access the course content as you wish and whenever it's convenient for you. Um, however, to support the students, we also um, have got some online tutorials that it would give uh, uh, at the beginning of each unit by my colleague and myself to give you an overview of each uh, unit uh, that you are starting. But there is no um, uh, requirement for attending any online courses or anything like that. When will we find out if our application was successful? So we gather all applications up until the deadline and at that point they are first reviewed and the majority of applicants are then interviewed and if after interview you can usually expect to hear from us within a week to 40 7 to 14 days um, it can depend on just how many interviews we're undertaking and how long it takes to get through those but 10 to, uh, 10 to 14 days um, 
would someone who doesn't have any experience in the field would be considered? Um, we would um, like to um, consider each uh, individual applicant uh, or application uh, on its own merits. And uh, in some cases, if you haven't got experience working in the field or you don't have the right sort of background qualification, um, we would still be able to possibly consider you um, for the course uh, because we, if you have uh, if you demonstrate that you would have the uh, requirement for the uh, transferable skills and that would be beneficial to you. When does the course start? Course normally starts at the beginning of uh, Mikko Mass term, which is in early October. Uh, what is the class size? The class size is really uh, depends on the size of the cohort, which could change from year to year. What we consider maximum of 15 students per, per tutorial group. Do most people pass the course? Actually, most people not only pass uh, this course, but quite a number of students get distinction because we tend to attract very, very uh, talented and uh, um, experienced students for the course. I'm an undergraduate computer science student. Is this course right for me? If you are in a full time education, uh, we would not consider any application from full time uh, studies or if there are courses which require um, part time, but they are um, require a lot of uh, commitment. So we would uh, recommend that if you want to apply for this course, you would do that after graduation and preferably have some work experience. When does course finish and when is the award ceremony? The course finishes normally uh, towards middle of July and uh, it's the marks are would be uh, approved and confirmed by the uh, uh, examiner's board in uh, September and the award ceremony is normally around about uh, spring of the following year. Can students progress to careers in tech if they if this is their main and only qualification? Absolutely because um, the added set provides a fundamental um, knowledge for any type of system, IT and tech design, if you wish to um, pursue a career in that. And even if you want to sort of like um, progress to do a postgraduate studies, a lot of universities at the level of masters, they would uh, take our students uh, very easily if you have got a distinction or a good um, grade classification within the uh, within the uh, within your degree. That's it. If you want to apply for added site, please go to www.content.ox.ac.uk slash backslash added sat and if you have got any questions please send an email to undergraduate at content.ox.ac.uk